Good morning and welcome to The Passionate Home. My name is Carrie. I'm Janine. And we are the Idea Ladies here live on Facebook every Friday at 9.30, hoping to help you create a beautiful life and inspire you to try something new. Uh, Candace is here with us behind the camera. Good morning. Please say good morning. It's a beautiful morning considering so nice. what yesterday was with the rain and the yuck. I'm like, isn't it supposed to be spring? I know. <laughs> so it looked like winter yesterday. Yeah. Uh, today the sun is shining here um, and I share a beautiful product with you. I'm Do so we, excited. Are you? I well, haven't you tried this yet. Last week. No. So this is the first for Janine. This is the first time. Actually last week Candace and I uh, kind of introduced two new Annie Sloan products to you. The satin paint and her decoupage papers. For those of you who watch, thank you so much. And for those of you on TPH TV, which yeah. is on our website, and you can go YouTube. on Facebook. Um, yep. Yeah, I'm sure it's on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to jump in yes. here and let our watchers know we are having internet issues. What? So hold tight. Hopefully we work it out. But just keep watching uh, and you're going to discover new things. This happened yesterday. Yeah, in during out. Candace's live. In mm -hmm. out. Yeah. Um, we could talk like this. <laughs> <laughs> It might happen. It might just happen. Yeah. Oh, I'm feeling a little bad. rough this morning. That's <laughs> so funny. I can't say. <laughs> My husband took me on a date last night. I know. So and fun. And we went for dinner in Vancouver, like mm. a little country bumpkins. We drove to Vancouver. <laughs> uh, and we went and saw the James Taylor concert. So exciting. And it was, well, it was weird to be out with so many people. Mm -hmm. uh, it was the first time we've really been people. Uh, but so good to get out and to sing and to s hear James Taylor singing. Yeah, it was a really nice uh, date night, but midnight, oh my gosh. <laughs> I haven't seen midnight in a very long time. I feel right? like a little bit today. But anyway, uh, we're going to talk about to just try it because like in the can, it's stunning. Like, mm -hmm. you know, and I just touched these baseboards that you guys did. So this is two coats on here. And it's so pretty and smooth. Like, I want to redo my house. Dwayne will kill me, but um, yeah. <laughs> so, so as you know, Annie has the amazing chalk paint that sticks to almost any surface without mm -hmm. sanding and priming. We have been selling that paint for 10 years. We all love it. Right. Now she's created satin paint where there is, um, with the chalk paint, it's a two-step process. You paint and you wax. Yeah. But the satin paint, there's no waxing or top coat. No. But there is some sanding. So you sand and you paint, but no top coat. Right. Mm -hmm. So the paint is um, self-leveling. Yeah. There's Super no smell. Exciting. Do you smell anything? No. No. Okay, seriously. No. It's like so a teeny little smell. Tiny little bit too. So what she's saying is that this paint is amazing for baseboards, mm -hmm. um, doors, yeah. cupboards, that sort of thing, and furniture. But you, if you're doing furniture or anything, you, you do need to sand off the glossy finish, but then there's no top coat. Yeah. And it's self-leveling. Right. So when we did the baseboards, I gave it a 10 out of 10. Yeah. It was, the coverage is amazing, the color is amazing, and I would definitely use this on my baseboards for sure. Right, yeah, this is the Pemberley Blue. Pemberley oh Blue. my gosh. Yeah. Okay, so this one was one coat and this is two coats. And seriously, the one coat even is great. I mean, I can see it through there well, a tiny, I think tiny I bit. I missed that section, but you um, probably could have gotten away with one yeah, coat. Yeah. She does recommend two, uh, two for coats. full coverage, mm -hmm. but that's always because we don't, we never get it right the first time, right? Just Except kind of for fill marriage, in. honey. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you're yeah. watching, I really appreciate a date night. Um, Pemberley Blue um, is duck egg with old white mixed. It's so, so all pretty. the satin paint colors are going to blend beautifully with the chalk paint line. So mm -hmm. if you painted a piece of furniture in a room, you could do the baseboards and doors and stuff and kind of colors that right. coordinate. Like right? I would love to do all my baseboards and doors in this color. Mm -hmm. Whew. Now there are 14 colors, but we only got in, did we only get in four? One, two, three, four, five. Five, five colors. Oh yeah. Huh. Here they are. <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh, so the Cotswold's green, Cotswold green. Do Would you call this a green? It's kind of like country gray again, right? Soft. Like it's one of those things mm -hmm. that it's just really soft. Tilt the that, that way? Yeah. Better. It's just, I yeah, it I'm excited is, to try this as it's well. It's like country with a hint. It's one of those chameleon uh, colors, I French think. French linen. Yeah. Of mm -hmm. course, we're familiar with French linen, 
old white, yeah, the Annie everybody's top favorite color, and the Athenian black. Perfect. I just really wanted to get a little sampling of all the different colors and then to see, uh, uh, I think eventually we will have them all, but if you have a favorite, please type it in or let us know yeah. so that we can make sure that we get it in. But these are the ones we have for you available right now. Um, and we have yet to actually use it on a piece of furniture. We haven't done anything, right? Just no, the, the just baseboard? the baseboards. Yeah. Well, that cabinet cup. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. So you guys ready? You want to see this in action? We're going to try a piece of furniture. Yeah. I mean, like we had said last week, Candace, is you can't really sell uh, anything that you can't don't really believe in. Right. And um, I heard that across Canada, this is outselling the chalk paint. Wow. Well, I, well, we'll see. I guess you know if people are they've chalk used chalk paint on almost all the furniture in the house, and now they're ready to do their baseboards and their doors, and mm -hmm. so yeah, right? Yeah. This hall table. Lori has already pre-sanded it for us because it was really high. And then we wanted to test a few things. So we wanted to put, we put some chalk paint on, uh, like a quick coat of chalk paint on a section of it. Mm -hmm. Almost like a primer. Almost like a primer because what Annie does suggest is that you do kind of a primer coat when you sand of water and satin paint. Yeah. But which we're not going to do, but no. we will try it. <laughs> But we wanted to try what it would be like if we put the chalk paint on first. Yeah. Almost like your primer coat. And this is watered down chalk paint. So we're today we're going to try um, the brush. Yeah, a and brush. And the roller. And a roller. Because it's self-leveling, I was wondering, does the roller little marks go flat? Because this paint is for a flat, smooth finish. A little bit more modern. A little bit more modern, right? mid-century modern. Mm -hmm. um, whereas the chalk paint is all about layering and getting all sorts of patina um, and texture. This is smooth. Yeah, what are you thinking? No, it's so pretty. Yeah. Okay, so do you think you need more than that? I don't know. I never put out enough Whoops. paint. Sorry. I should, that was very disrespectful. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There we go. I'm dipping in. I got okay. some. Any I'm questions so far? I'm just going to so try far? it. Um, yes. Can you mix water? Uh, can you mix with water to make a wash? Thanks for the show. Oh, a sure. wash. Yes. Okay. So there, um, I saw, uh, who was it? Somebody who did this video, they did it yeah. and it looked beautiful. Oh. So we haven't tried it yet, but we, as this just came in now, it would be two Fridays ago now. Yeah. Um, can I just go? Yeah. Just go. <laughs> I'm just going to Okay. Yeah, so just Annie go. says to yeah. cross hatch and not over brush. So, oh, I got something in there. Um, I'm going to put it on that way and then I'm going to start feathering it this way, right? Yeah, so we're actually, I'm just going to, where does she say this? We were so reading pretty. it earlier. Oh my gosh, it's so silky okay. and smooth. <gasps> okay. Apply a reasonably thick coat of Annie Sloan satin paint using a high quality brush. Do we have a high quality I've brush? I've got her Jenny. great flat brush here. <laughs> yeah. Apply the paint in one direction and then the other using a cross hat okay. and then it says avoid overworking the paint which is the same as chalk paint right yeah. mm -hmm. oh it is so beautiful it feels it does a have a drag feel or doesn't it but I, yeah no that's what we great. mentioned last week candace is it feels like yeah. satin luxury. it's incredible luxury yeah. oh it's so nice okay there's a little depth there there you go so paint over this section. I want to see the difference between that. Well, I can see the line a little bit. See, I think I started overworking this area because I did that first. Yeah. So yeah, don't do that. Because then it sort of drags it off. Yeah. Okay, so if I get it to the edge. Does it feel different on the on this compared um, to the prime? Yeah, you can tell the difference for sure. Mm -hmm. Like this just feels even smoother again. So now you can see you definitely need a second coat. Oh yeah. You see this see? line. See that one definitely the primer coat. Yeah. I don't know what I got in there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Woo. So this will be interesting to see how oh, it yes. dries. Stop touching there. Because it's <laughs> self-leveling, right? Mm -hmm. So, um... Because you can see my brush marks. I mean, can. any painted surface, I feel like you're going to see brush marks. Like, that is just what you want, right? Like, a, a little but bit. But I think this, it's gonna this is going to settle more. more than, yeah, okay. I think you'll be okay. surprised because we were super really? surprised when we did... Mm. It's like when I first discovered chalk paint, it was like magic. I'm like, there's no way this stuff is going to stick. And I'm like, oh my God. That's kind of how I felt when we did our little sample board. So let's okay. let this dry. Let um, and now I'm going to try it. It does say you can also use a roller, um, a good quality roller. I have Annie's rollers. We do sell these here. They're online as well. Um, 
it, it says achieve a good finish. Uh, We're testing it. Mm -hmm. Rollers will coat the surface with a thinner layer of paint than the brush would, therefore additional uh, coat full coverage. Okay, it. and I want to see the difference between. Um, this is like real life TV. I know. Right? <laughs> We're like, like, just test. kidding. It wouldn't be the product, it would be the user. Yeah. Say. So now that we're not cross hatching, should I just roll this way or should I just do it? And see? Just do it. So often, you know, people say, can you roll chalk paint? And you can, but you can see, Candace, go here. I mean, oh, I'm yeah, sure it's the difference. You can see the difference in the texture. Can you can see? Can you it? tell? The My shadow is there. So oh, yeah. there you go. The um, kind of orange peel. So, yeah, effect. orange peel versus brush yeah. dark. Mm -hmm. But what I often do, and Maybe I can try it here too. Do you have enough paint? Um, I might not have enough paint. Maybe just a little bit. Just dribble some on there with my stir stick. <laughs> Thanks. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it, I, ooh, ooh. <laughs> there we go. I think that looks really nice. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to try something else. <laughs> we'll see what, what happens are you gonna to do? the top of this table. <laughs> well, oops. I got a gooby there. I know. I think it's our, our you know, tray, our, our really tray, high yeah. quality trays. Um, when, oops, I use chalk paint, mm -hmm. sometimes I, can you pass me your brush? Yes. I paint with the roller. Here, oh, Vanna. Okay. Thank you. And then I take my brush and I just kind of oh, feather yeah. over to kind of get rid of the orange peel effect. Right. I. This is what I've done with chalk paint. I've never done this before with... Um, can I finish in this area? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> and I want to see how this, um, how it dries. Right. Now, when you get little oh. goobies in your paint, okay, don't use an old meat tray. Maybe that's <laughs> the issue, right? I'm going to see how, <laughs> we'll see how this whole table turns out with all these different techniques. Right. But this mm -hmm. is how you learn, and this is how um, we figure out what it can do and what it, what it can't do, right? But thought it should have a full coverage coat at least. Yes, okay. Okay, sorry, okay. there you go. No, that's good. So we've got some uh, roller and roller with some feathering. Mm -hmm. And then we have just uh, the brush and then the brush prime over a prime section. section. Yeah. So we're gonna wait for this to dry and then we'll take a picture of it. I'm just trying to think of how we, cause this is oh, live, share. right? Yeah. So it takes um, an hour yeah, on an hour notes. to is touch it an dry. An hour to recoat. Uh, yeah, touch yeah. dry and recoat. Yeah. Okay, sorry, I'm just gonna. Okay, so <coughs> whereas the chalk paint is twenty minutes, mm -hmm. this is gonna be an hour, and she's suggesting uh, uh, two coats probably. Yeah. Now clean up. Just soap and water, right? Warm water. Right. Same, same yeah. as the chalk water paint. Base. Um, she's saying here that it takes fourteen days to cure. Hmm. All paint takes time to cure. Yeah. Right. It's going to be dry. It's going to be usable. Yeah. But for but for it to apparently, it's going to get really hard finish. Now, Candace and I last week did a kitchen cupboard just quickly. One of those high sheen white. Um, yeah. I need a cup. Ikea amazing. It really, really does look good. Um, so washable, quick drying, uh, water based. Sheen level is satin, ten percent sheen. Um, this is indoor only paint. Mm -hmm. So when would you, if a customer came in, oh, I'm coughing, Janine, she's got this coughing thing. If a customer came to me and said, you know, what is the main difference between chalk paint and satin paint? Um, the chalk, you're get an old world finish and layer it up or get texture. And the satin paint is more of a smooth, modern, no distressing kind of look. Um, and like she says, great, we're going to do our bathroom door here at the store just to see mm -hmm. how that. Yeah, you can come check it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come, come use our bathroom. <laughs> and when you say, do you have a bathroom? We I'm say, gonna no, drink. we're going to change that now. Come and see our bathroom. But after we paint the door, yeah. we'll see how that yeah. works. Do we have any questions, Candace, at all? I don't think I've had any more questions. <coughs> For us, it's a hard guy. That's okay. Tickle. Just kidding. <laughs> We were both coughing before this happened. Uh, I just want to know what else I was going to say. Um, coverage. I think we talked about it. It's 118 square feet per tin. 
the tin's a little bit smaller than the chalk paint tin itself. Oh, you can also use this on metal. Um, you just sand the metal off any little bit. The chalk paint saying no sanding. There is sanding involved with this, but there is no top coat. Self-leveling, quick drying, <coughs> it looks really amazing. We will post a picture of this um, as it dries in an hour. So make sure you're following along and then we'll give it a second coat. But I think what we'll do is give it a second coat all with one to try to get this table to uh, match in the end. Um, I think that's, that's it for now. Yeah. Did you want to add anything except for you love no, that color? No, I'm just going to, I want to finish this table. <laughs> okay, well, let's wait for it to dry. Okay. Yeah. Patience. Uh, next <laughs> week, what are we going to do next week? We are going to do a paint inlay. Yeah. We're going to try it out. Iron Orchid Designs has this incredible mm -hmm. product. It was released a little while ago, yeah. but we haven't tried it yet. No. Nope. Um, and <laughs> it's called Paint Inlay, so you'll want to set your calendar to uh, tune in next Friday at 9.30 as well. And we are here uh, Tuesdays to see, feel what this paint is like or, you know, grab a can, take it home and let us know how it works for you. That would be really awesome. Super um, cool. Super cool. Yeah. Uh, anything else? Um, it's not Mother's Day. It's nothing it's really Friday the 13th. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you soon. So stay safe and uh, get painting. Bye. Bye. <laughs>